Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we are going to talk about anatomy of uh, images in Docker, right? So what are images basically? So let's discuss that first. So images are nothing. They are just basically a stack of layers, right? And then you'll ask me what is a layer? So layer is nothing. It's basically an instruction that you write in your Docker file, right? So suppose you have like, uh, let's say I'll give you an example of let's not be I V I a Docker file, right? So the first statement basically comes as a from because you want to select a base image. So I'll also do a video on how to write a Docker file, but just for the sake of it, this video, let's say I'll say Alpine, Alpine 3.8 or 3.9, whatever. And then I say run apt get update. And then I say run um, what uh, app get install let's say w get and maybe nginx just for example right and then I say copy copy um, everything from here to say let's say slash app and then I yeah that's pretty much it so in this docker file each statement which I have written each statement which I have written basically represents a layer right so this is one layer this is the second layer this is the third layer and this is the fourth layer right so that's what basically layers are all right so let me just quickly do uh, docker run and I'll do so I'm going to run an nginx container with docker run you can see this image is not available on my local system so by default it is going to docker hub you can configure your own private repositories as well private registries but you have to actually authenticate with them before uh, like connecting and downloading images from them right so you have to do some kind of authentication with docker login so basically login will log into your registry and then from there you can pull the images which you want but since uh, i'm not doing that we are just pulling images directly from docker hub and oh yeah so this is running in foreground so i have to kill this and i think this would have killed my uh, docker ps hyphen a so yeah you can see it exited so i actually have to run it in daemon mode which is with hyphen t so now this will continue to run and if you want to see what all layers are there you basically can do something like first you need to find out your storage uh, driver so you can do that with docker info and let's grep for storage so you can see my storage driver is overlay too so if you go to uh, so docker home basically which is where lib docker on most of the linux machines if you are on mac then you probably because in mac uh, docker does not runs on the host system by default it basically creates a virtual machine so you actually have to log into that virtual machine to go to the docker home right so i i mean if you want i can cover that as well but since i'm running linux uh, i can just go to var lib docker and i think overlay 2 should be a directory and if i just do over here you can see all these layers right all these layers are basically coming from the image which i just uh, i mean for the con for the container which i just ran right so these layers i mean what purpose they serve so they basically help in caching right so if now for example i create a docker file i'll use my docker file uh, not here so i'll just go back and we'll just do vi docker file we just created right and instead of alpine i just go ahead and just do the nginx right now if i make this nginx and i get rid of this because this is an nginx image so it will already have nginx installed 
So now if I do docker build, what that command is going to do, it's basically going to fetch, I mean, it's basically going to pull the docker image, the base image in the from statement, right? But since we have already pulled that image, we already have the required layers, it is not going to do that. It is going to fetch that basically from my system, like local caching. So it is going to pull, pull those layers from the cache and then it is basically going to just add the layers which I have in Docker file, uh, which are basically three layers, right? So this is already what we have in our cache, right? From Nginx. So on Nginx, we've already pulled. So we have all the layers from the Nginx. So this, this is not going to happen. The only thing what Docker build is going to do is going to create three more layers on top of the Nginx layer, which I have, right? So that's what basically an image is. Now let's talk about a container. So in many interviews you've been asked, I mean, you people would ask this question like, what is the difference between a Docker image and a Docker container? And people I've seen answer that they give me is that the Docker container is a running instance of an image, which to some extent is right, but not exactly right. So a Docker container is basically a, uh, stack of layers, right? Just like an image, but that also has a read write layer uh, in layer on top of all the layers which you have defined, right? So basically what you do when you start a, start a container is that you put a read write layer on top of all the layers, right? And that layer read write layer is temporary. So any modification which you make in a Docker container, in a running container, right? That all happen within that read write layer because all the layers uh, of a Docker image, they are read only, right? So you cannot make any changes. They are read only layers. But when you put a read write layer on top of all those read only layers, you basically have a Docker container and then you run any commands, right? Make any changes, any modification that only persists for the lifetime of the container, right? So it is not going to make changes to the layers which are already there, the read-only layers, right? So that is, and then you have something called copy on write and stuff. Uh, I will discuss those uh, things later in the, uh, in the series. But for now, you can just think of Docker container as a do Docker image with a read-write layer on top of it, right? So it is just, that is what is the difference between a Docker container and Docker images. All right, so yeah, that's, that's about uh, Docker. Uh, let me see if I have missed anything. Well, yeah, that's it for this video. In the next video, I'll be covering something very basic like uh, how to create a Docker file uh, for yourself and how you can basically pull and push images to a Docker uh, registry. Uh, I can take an example of Docker Hub. Uh, if you have a registry in AWS, ECR, uh, I can also do an example on that as well. So probably those things I'll cover in the next video. Uh, in the upcoming videos, we'll be covering about, uh, we'll be talking about Docker volumes, Docker networking, right? So all that stuff would be coming in. Uh, so I hope you guys uh, like this series and please do subscribe to the channel before leaving. And yeah, thank you for watching.